what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so just going to talk about a few quick things regarding screen five with melissa barrera jen ortega a new image that just recently came out showing us a better look at Stu's house recreation that they've done for the upcoming film and talk about some things that are apparently going to happen regarding the stab franchise now off the bat i want to talk about melissa barrera melissa barrera recently did confirm in an interview with her friend that she did on like i think it was instagram or whatever social media platform it was on it was mostly in spanish but I, i'll leave a link to it all of what i'm talking about mostly is coming from hello i'll leave a link to the article or the articles she did an interview sat down and confirmed her role in screen five she will indeed be playing what i already said she would be playing sam carpenter uh the woman returning to the returning to woodsboro Jenna Ortega recently had some things to say about the Scream franchise and why she's being so tight-lipped. She does not want to be the Tom Holland of the Scream franchise. Fans of the Spider-Man series, you know who Tom Holland is. Or if you've recently seen the new film Cherry, you know who Tom Holland is. Or if you're just someone who is a big Tom Holland fan, you know who Tom Holland is. So here's a new image from, again, HelloSydney.com. Shout out to HelloSydney.com. Showing us a better look at the recreation of Stu's house. This seems like it's just the same image, but a different angle. This was shared on social media by the crew member to the to the right of Kevin Williamson. Uh, and we see that they've done a pretty good job at recreating this house. It looks amazing. And I can't wait to see how it factors into the film. Can't wait to see what ends up happening with it. Can't wait to see who potentially lives in the house, what role it would play. This the fact that the house is being included, it's fueling my theory that Stu's Stu's brother, a brother that was born after his demise, is going to end up being the killer in screen five, but we'll see. And after tomorrow, that'll be the official after tomorrow, because after tomorrow is January 14th, 2021, will officially be a year away from the film's release. And what I wanted to say about that, I've seen a lot of speculation about what could potentially happen on that day, whether or not we'll get our first teaser. I think that's already out. That's not going to happen. We could get our first uh, poster or maybe a new cast announcement. Now, I'm going to be the wild card. <laughs> what I would hope happens is that Hayden Pantier's, uh, Hayden Pantier's involvement is somehow announced on January 14th. Um, I'm just going to be hopeful about that because of the fact that January 14th, 2012 was the day Wes Craven sent out that tweet teasing Kirby's potential return to the franchise or her fate that she could indeed, in, in fact, still be alive. And the fact that Screen 5 is coming out on January 14th, 2022, 10 years after that tweet mentioning Kirby. It's very possible that on January 14th this year, we might get that Kirby confirmation that many of us are looking for and hoping for, or we could get our first poster, some type of tease art, but they've already given us that as you saw one of the earlier images that came across your screen. That was like one of the earlier teaser posters, if you will, that came out after production ended when Kevin Williamson gave that official announcement of what the film's title would be. Uh, so I don't think we'll really get anything too groundbreaking. Maybe we get that second teaser poster, like a different alteration with the cast members now included. Uh, it would be nice to see the backdrop of the old generation of characters, the original trio, Gale, Sydney, and Dewey. And then at the bottom, of course, we have the new cast, Fresh Blood, something along those lines for a tagline. Who knows? But I think we'll get something on the 14th, maybe an announcement from the Scream Twitter page, but not something so significant but again i'm holding out hope that it is something significant such as a hayden pantier return to the series to reprise her role as kirby reed um and honestly they're probably just going to save that as a surprise given any everything that happened with skeet Ulrich, because they didn't even announce him yet they're probably not going to announce him uh it's pretty clear to me that he'll be involved in the film in some capacity but i think on the 14th we'll get something that will get us excited whether it be small or massive i don't think it'll be anything massive but let's remain hopeful that it's kirby's announcement kirby's return <laughs> but anyway oh and also i just want to say really quick just because kirby's in screen five doesn't mean she lived i hope that's clear just because kirby's in screen five does not mean that she necessarily survived the events of screen four this could just very well be fan service at its best um when honestly i don't really think we want to necessarily see kirby on our screens again as much as we want her to be alive i think that's what my biggest concern is i don't care if we don't see her you can confirm that the character is alive and i'll be just fine i don't need to really see the character again i just want to know she's alive <laughs> but jumping into something else 
also sources apparently told hello sydney.com and again this is not coming from anyone officially involved with the production or anything with paramount or spyglass hello sydney is one of the biggest one of the bigger known fan sites when it comes to all things scream scream related content sources close to the website or sources told this website that we will be getting new never before seen footage from the stat film that we know we first saw in Scream 2 and we've been seeing it subsequently in the other sequels Scream 3 and Scream 4 it's going to make an appearance again as already made made mention of in another video Heather Graham talked about this and her role in the film and the fact that they were going to be using it in Scream 5 because they did reach out to her about that for her approval for whatever reason but we'll get new never before seen footage because as we saw there is like a full length film that they put together there's a full-length film with Tori Spelling playing Sidney Prescott and apparently it's on VHS somewhere being held in storage so I would love to sit down and look at that they I would love to sit down and look at that full feature that they made of apparently stab I'd love to look at that sometime but we'll get to see new clips in the upcoming film apparently if that's true uh, time will tell if that's true of course we'll have to wait and see I'll leave a link to the, all those articles that I'm mentioning uh, can't wait to return to Stu's house can't wait to see how that factors into the narrative can't wait to see what actually goes down in this film because there's so many different things that could happen so many things that I know a lot of people want to happen a lot of people think that they know what's going to happen I myself while I do have knowledge of certain things that ended up being true i still don't know what a lot of you might think i know this could go in either direction especially considering the fact that kevin williamson said fake scripts were purposely put out there um i can't really talk about anything with confidence um and i won't talk about anything with confidence because they could pull the rug right out from under us and we could all be given the biggest surprise ever but let me know what you guys think about all of these updates and some of these possible things that could come in this franchise or in this film down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And then with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.